Now to a story of hope and survival just in time for the holidays. A Salem woman is sharing her story with us after battling COVID-19 in the hospital for a week and a half. Fox 12's Bridget Chavez joins us now live. And Bridget, you spoke with that woman. So how is she feeling tonight? Well, Lynn Skinner tells me that she's getting stronger every single day and says it's because of the doctors and nurses at Salem Health Hospital who fought for her when she couldn't. Lynn Skinner is back home with her family after spending 10 days in Salem Health Hospital battling COVID-19. She tested positive on November 27th and was admitted to the hospital December 2nd. Coughing, no appetite whatsoever. You can't even think about food. Body aches, headache, sense of smell is gone at that point. Skinner is a high-risk patient. I looked around my apartment and I thought I won't be back. This is it. I was absolutely petrified. She received both remdesivir and dexamethasone for treatment, but says it was the doctors and nurses who saved her life. And they fought for me when I couldn't fight. And I am so grateful to those people for my life. And it was her three granddaughters who helped her hold on. And I kept picturing their faces and the devastation had I have passed on. And at that point, it turned around and I had to fight. On December 4th, her sense of smell returned and she started getting better. One of the nurses came in and I said, something smells. And she said, what's wrong then? I said, something stinks. And she said, oh, I said, well, wait a minute. I think this is a good thing. Skinner hopes her story will help others who may be battling the virus. And as weak and sickened as I was before COVID and I'm still here, don't live in fear. Don't be afraid. You can fight it. You really can if I have. And she wants everyone to understand how serious it is. Oh, you got to take those steps. Get those masks on. Get gloves on. Get whatever you can on. Do what you got to do to protect yourself and others out there. She says she owes everything to her doctors and nurses. Thank you for my life. Thank you for my life. And those doctors and nurses, even the cafeteria people, carried me when I couldn't move. Skinner was released from the hospital on December 12th. And the Oregon Health Authority is developing a new metric to measure recovered COVID-19 cases. The last time they reported recovered cases in the state of Oregon was before May of this year. Reporting live in Northwest Portland, Bridget Chavez, Fox 12, Oregon.